Hey guys, Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you with a, a kind of an impromptu one-on-one. -on -one. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, some books I picked up over the Labor Day weekend. Not a whole bunch, but a few, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to come on here and show you what I got, because I don't oftentimes buy a lot of comic books. Uh, actually, one was actually gifted to me, I should say. Uh, I'll start with that one. Uh, this one here is from Wayne out of Pickering, and I've done some work for Wayne, and uh, it's, it's, it's a copy of Red Eye, probably not the most... Uh, uh, woke comic you could find today, I suppose, politically correct if that, if that, if that is. But um, what's interesting about this particular comic book is, as you know, I, I live and work out of Oshawa, Ontario, and Wayne lives uh, about 20, 30 minutes west of me. He found this book in a collection he picked up, and when he opened it up, he noticed there was a library stamp in it, and it said Oshawa. So he thought, hey, Kev, you know, uh, I found a book here uh, from Oshawa. But then upon further examination uh pretty amazing right there there's a stamp but i don't know if you can whoops i'll try to open it the book's not in fant not in great condition as you can see but as you can see there it says saint thomas aquinas school 400 pacific avenue oshawa ontario canada i went to that grade school <laughs> i thought that was the most crazy coincidence you know he finds his book in a collection thinks of me Gives me a call. I got a comic book for you. And then it happens to be a comic that was at the school when I was at the school. Because this book was dated 1977. I was at, at uh, that school in 1977. I was in uh, grade one or two, I believe. And uh, yeah. So there's a good chance that a, a young comic doctor actually, you know, read this book way back when. Again, the uh, content is probably not appropriate uh, for today's audiences. Uh, especially in our politically correct uh, environment. But nonetheless, pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Wayne. Uh, I'll be throwing that into my PC. Uh, awesome. Next. Now, this one comes along with a story too. About two weeks ago, I was at the shop and um, I have some books for sale at the shop. Not a lot of stuff. As you know, I shared the shop with Roy from Roy's Paper Heroes and Roy will soon be outfitting the shop with a lot of stock. But I have some odds and ends there, some, you know, packages of comics for sale. And I had a package of uh, Demon Comics, uh, Jack Kirby's Demon, Etrigan, from uh, the 70s. And I had, I think, issues one through five or six in there. And issue one was probably like a three, four, you know. And uh, I forgot I even had it there. And, I, and I, one of my clients goes, I, I want to buy this. Can I can I get it for, uh, you know, get, throw me an offer? I think I was asking $85 for the set. And he offered me 60 and I said, I better check to make sure that this uh, <laughs> this book hasn't skyrocketed like all other Bronze Age books. And sure enough, it had gone up. Issue number one in a three, I think regularly sells for 125 Needless to say, I offered him the, the, the package for the price that was on it. He took it. So good for him. But then it stuck, it stood in my brain. I want to find another copy of Demon Number 1 and better, you know, a higher grade copy. And I located one locally right here beautiful copy and this one uh, i picked up off of um brian uh the comic jock uh check out his facebook page brian the comic jock he's out of uh uh whitby i believe whitby pickering he has a shop in ajax i believe but yeah gorgeous copy of demon i've always had a soft spot for this book for some reason i've always had a copy in my collection but for some reason that one i sold last uh, week or week before was uh i think the last copy i had so i wanted to get another copy before they became stupid out of control pricey like all bronze age books seem to be heading in that direction so i picked this one up so nine two very happy with it uh, brian gave me an excellent deal on it so thank you very much brian and yeah so that one again is not for sale it's going into my personal collection and i'm happy to have it all right next Next, we have... Oh, we got some people watching. How are you doing, guys? Uh, next, we have this one right here. A Miss Marvel. This is the last one, guys. I picked this one up on Saturday. And um, again, uh, I've never had a high, high-grade Miss Marvel. The highest I had was a 9-0 uh, that I think sold at one of, my, um, one of my claim sales. And um, I wanted to replace it. So... Uh, again, a client came in last Saturday and he had picked up a really nice copy of ASM 300 from a local comic store here in Oshawa. And he said, I think he has other, uh, some other higher end books there. So I, I went over there on 
Saturday with my son. Or no, it was Sunday I went over there with my son. Um, uh, and I picked up this copy of Miss Marvel number one. It's currently probably like a 9294. But I think with a little TLC, I'll be able to get this up to a 96. If it comes back a 98, fantastic. I'm not holding my breath on that one. But I think I've got a really good shot at a 96. And for $120 Canadian plus taxes, I was quite happy to pick it up. And this one was purchased over at Comic Alley Toys in Oshawa. If you ever have a chance to go to Comic Alley Toys, tell them the comic doctor sent you. And, and go on in and give yourself a few hours because, my lord, they've got a lot of comics there. I'm not even sure how many long boxes they've got, but it, it is certainly uh, hundreds, hundreds of long boxes. And you could be, uh, you know, bin diving all day long. And I'm sure there's lots of great deals to be had there. And aside from from uh, comics, they also have a variety of vintage toys and newer toys. So uh, a lot of fun to just go to the, sh the shop and check things out over there uh, with Sean and Colin and all the other guys. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Those are, well, these are the two pickups again. Demon number one. Miss Marvel number one. Uh, this one will go to CGC at some point. Again, as my my problem seems to be, I never have enough time to do my own book. So that might stay just like that for who God knows how long, a year or two. This one's just staying the way it is. I don't think I can do much more with it. Apparently, this was already pressed. Whoever pressed it didn't do much of it, didn't do any cleaning on the back, though. It's quite, I don't know if you can check it out. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's quite a bit of dirt back there and grime. I but I don't think I'm going to risk uh, opening her up to clean the back. I'll just leave it as is. And uh, thanks again to Wayne for uh, that awesome copy of Red Eye, which came all the way from my own grade school from when I was a kid. And uh, hey, guys, if you're new here, if you haven't uh, been to the Comic Doctor's uh, uh, YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's all comic books here right now anyway. So uh, if you love comic books, talking comic books, this, this could be a place for you to hang out. So please consider subscribing to the channel. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving out some awesome prizes and uh, some gift certificates for pressing and cleaning. All the details for that are in the, in the info section below, so please just check that out. Until next time, guys, thanks so much. There will be a, a, an episode of What's in the Press probably dropping tomorrow, the latest, when, uh, the latest Thursday, but probably tomorrow. And I actually have a box coming back from CGC this, from CGC this week. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm stumbling over my words. Uh, that I'll have another CGC unboxing probably Thursday or Friday of this week. All right, guys, that's it for me. Have a great day. Hope you had a great Labor Day weekend. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.